Welcome to part four of our family train layout series. Today we're going to do a little urban planning. I've got some buildings that will add to the railroad and since we've got this really nice bus and this helicopter that came with our train set, I figured we probably need some roads and maybe a landing pad too. Let me show you how to get those things in place. For our project, we're going to use pre-assembled buildings. Now, this station model here comes from Atlas. This little freight house here is a Walther's model. But there are a number of manufacturers that produce these, and you can usually find them at a good, well-stocked hobby shop. Let's position the buildings around our railroad in places that make sense. Our re-railer straight section here is a great place to put our passenger station, because this looks like it's an extension of our passenger platform. This spur track is where we'll put our freight house. This place here where we've got two switches back to back makes an ideal junction, so we'll put our switch tower there to control it. And that leaves this house, and I think the house just down the street from the train station will be a good spot for it. Now, we want to glue these buildings down to the layout so that when we tip it up to store it or slide it under the bed, they'll stay put. I'm going to mark their footprints with a pencil, and just like when we put down the track in a previous video, we need to remove the ground foam that is under the building so that it'll stick. I'm going to mark all the locations and then we'll take the foam off. From our station parking lot here, we'll make our road extend out the corner. And we'll follow our way around the curve, past the switch tower, and over to the freight house. Since our freight house has these doors on the back side of it and all these loading ramps, we're going to put a parking lot that goes all the way around it. Now I actually want the grass to show from under most of the sides of my house, so I'm going to tip the house up. I'm just going to mark a square in the middle of it, and that'll be the point that we glue it down. Well, last but not least, our set comes with this helicopter, and who wouldn't want to have a nice helicopter landing pad next to their house? So I think we'll put our landing pad right out here in this open space. We just need to make it about as big as the helicopter. Okay, with that, We'll remove all of the buildings, and we'll come in and spray these areas that we want to remove the ground foam with water, let it sit for a minute, and then it's scraping time. Okay, we'll start by putting just a little moisture around our station area. I want to try and keep the water off the tracks if you can. And then this is our road, so we'll follow our road along. All the way around, oops, I forgot this guy. And to the freight house. And we have the freight house parking lot. And we've got a couple other things. We've got where our house is. So we'll just clean out that little spot where it's gonna glue down. Have our helicopter landing pad. And we should probably make sure that the landing pad is accessible to the road, so we'll just put another little sprit spot here where our road connects. Last but not least, we have the little place where our tower goes. And we'll spray that too. While we got the water bottle out and we're removing ground foam, I want to do one other thing. I've got this little piece of tempered hardboard like we used for the base of our project railroad uh, that I'm going to actually use as a base for our controller for the train set to sit on top of so it's not on the ground foam. In order to glue this down again we have to remove the foam from the surface so back to spritzing. We don't need to take it all just enough to get the glue a spot to hold. So we've let our ground foam soak for a bit. I'm going to use my plastic putty knife to just scrape up the surface and I've got this handy garbage can, so I have a place for the ground foam to go when it comes off. Just come in with a knife and slide it along. Don't be afraid to put a little muscle to it. Just want to remove the ground foam.
our ground foam has come off nicely. So we have places for our buildings and we have all of our roads and our helicopter landing point. Now you can see that the vinyl grass mat with the grass removed has kind of a nice tan color. So if you want to leave it dirt roads on your model railroad, go for it. However, I'm going to pave mine simply by using some acrylic gray paint and a plain old artist's paintbrush. And it's as easy as just coming along and painting the surface right up to the ground foam. Okay, our gray paint is down. We need to let this dry for about no, 20 minutes to a half an hour, and then we'll come back, glue our buildings down. We'll put a couple of stripes in. I'm gonna go clean this brush. We'll be right back. Okay, our paint is dry. Before we glue the buildings down, I want to line the roads and put a few markings on our helicopter pad here. And to do that, I'm going to use a tester's yellow paint marker. You can actually buy paint markers at most any craft store. They're very easy to use. This one has a nice wide tip. Already got it prepped and ready to go. And we're gonna put some dashed lines through the middle of the road going around the circle here first. You want to try to keep even spacing too. You don't have to get a ruler out to do this, but as long as it looks good. For our helicopter pad, we're just going to put a big H on here so we know that's where the helicopter lands. Actually, if you want to be creative, you can put a circle around it. All right, I'm going to continue the lines around the rest of the road and then we'll glue our buildings down. Last step, glue the buildings down. This building has got a nice flat base to it, so it'll be very easy to work with. We're using our latex caulk again, just like we did to glue the track down earlier. Kind of put a bead of caulk all along the inside here. You don't want to come too close to the edge because you don't want it to ooze out the sides. We'll take our station and put it into place. Line it up to the edge of the track and press it down. Let's do the house next. Unfortunately, the underside of the house, we don't have a nice flat surface to work with, but we have this interior wall section here, and so we're gonna place a bead of caulk along that. I don't wanna put it around the outside because I don't want it to ooze out from underneath the house when we glue it to the railroad. Carefully place the bead of caulk right along this interior wall. It doesn't take much to hold it in place. And holding it over the space we have set aside for this, just carefully put it down. On our switch tower here, we've got this open space under the platform, and that'll be a good spot to put some glue. Need to make sure we put enough for it to grip, though, because this isn't flush to the ground like the station was. Last but not least, we have our freight house. We have a nice flat surface to work with again, much like the station was. And then I want this corner to be glued down too, so I'm just gonna carefully put a little blob of caulk right on the inside of the walls. I don't want it to be able to ooze out, but it'll work as an anchor point to hold it to the layout. And slip it in along the track. While we've got the caulk gun out, we'll put our mounting plate for our controller down in the corner. We can bring our bus back. Our helicopter can land on the helicopter landing pad. We need one more thing and that's going to be some hills and trees to finish out our scenery and that's the subject of our next video. So we'll see you next time.